Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'll be showing you over the fastest and most efficient way to grow your eBay business and hopefully grow to a seven figure eBay business. And maybe you don't want to do seven figures in a year with eBay. Maybe you just want to do $100,000 a year or $50,000. This can be the most time efficient way to do it. Because if you've seen a lot of my videos, I don't talk a lot about eBay and that's because Amazon is the biggest market right now. I still sell on eBay with multi-channel fulfillment in the round I'm about to be talking to you about, but I don't spend any time basically at all. I don't spend like, probably spend less than an hour a week. However, I spend most of my time and still not a lot of time because where I'm at now, it's just basically fully automated, is that I focus on Amazon because that's the route to go. That's where the majority of the sales are going to. However, there's still money to be made with eBay. There's still people selling on eBay. eBay did $10 billion in sales last year. There's still people who are doing it. However, there's a lot of people that are not doing it the right way and they're doing it in a way that they can't scale. Because the reason why you're doing this, and if you're really taking eBay as a serious business, and not a hobby, you want to scale. Every business you get into, it doesn't matter whatever type of business you're in, you want to scale. You never want to just be okay, especially in the beginning phases, you want to be able to scale. And if you're the only person in your eBay business, if you're the only one going out there and hustling, going out to the garage sales, going thrifting, going to the discount stores, or whatever you're doing, and if you're the only person doing it, you can't scale. You only can scale about how many hours are in a day. And you can hustle extremely hard, but how about you say, I mean, you put in 18 hours a day, that's a lot, you only sleep six hours or four amount of hours you sleep. Um, what if you could have 10 other people putting in five hours a day for you? That's 50 hours versus how much hours can you put in a day, okay? So, and I also, before we get into this, I do not recommend this process for Amazon. Because you've seen what I've talked a lot about on Amazon is I don't recommend doing any arbitrage. No retail arbitrage, no online arbitrage, no drop shipping because that will not help you with Amazon. Amazon does not allow, Amazon allows drop shipping and everything like that. However, they are suspending a lot of reach arbitrage, a lot of online arbitrage. I only recommend this process for eBay. If you do it for Amazon, go for it, but I didn't tell you to do it, okay? So the first step is gonna be the documentation process, okay? So this is where you're gonna have to go do it yourself. And so with, it's, the step is called the documentation process. Step one, documentation. And what this process is gonna look like is basically, you're gonna be the solo entrepreneur. You're gonna basically do what you're doing right now. Say if you currently sell on eBay and your process is going to garage sales, going to Ross, going to Walmart and finding products. What are you gonna do? Whatever your source of products are is you're gonna go write down every single step that you do. So say on Sunday mornings, you go to the garage sales and you go here or say on, whatever, in the mornings you go to Walmart and you go to this aisle, you go to the clearance aisle, or you go to Target and you go to the back room, or if you go to Ross and you look at the toys and everything like that. Write down every single step that you do. Every little tiny thing, document everything. Everything that you buy, everything that you do, even if you have the receipts, just document that you keep the receipts. Every little step that you do, you need to document it, okay? And you're also, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna draw out a map of where you went. So if you drove to this address from wherever your address at, Get, go on Google Maps and write that out, print out a map and sh show what you did. So you're gonna document every single thing. Now once you've done that, you what you're doing is you're setting up a blueprint because eventually you're gonna give this documentation process to somebody else and you wanna make it as easy that somebody else could go do this. And that leads into the second step, which is the automation step, okay? So once you've done this, you found some really good items and what do you wanna do, especially in this documentation, documentary step one, is that you wanna find items that are your go-to's. And what I mean by that is you want to find items that you know every single time it is going to sell. And if you've not sold on eBay before, I think this should be a six month process. If you've been selling on eBay for a really long time, then okay, just document what you've been doing and just because you haven't wrote it down. But however, you need to understand, you need to find a lot of items that you're always going to sell. I know for example, in Nike Elite Socks, whenever they're at Ross, I've never not had a pair of Nike Elite Socks sell. So. So you need to find items that you know whenever you buy this, it's going to sell on eBay for that much profit. You know it's a guaranteed profit, okay? So find a lot of items like that, document it, document everything. And step two is gonna be the automation process. Step two, automate. So in this process, what you're gonna be doing is, that's really sideways, sorry, I do not have good handwriting. Good thing I sell online and don't actually write things, right? I'm just typing. However, 
Step two is you're gonna find, now you're gonna start automating. Every th little thing that you documented, from driving, from shipping, to listing items on eBay, from buying items at certain stores, you want to go automate that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to places like Craigslist, you're gonna offer jobs to maybe local high schoolers or local kids or anybody who else just needs a job and you're gonna um, pay off commission base or maybe a small auto incentive and everything like that. You're gonna have to go figure out the pricing range for yourself. I'm not gonna be able to go into that much in detail in this video, but there is ways, the best ways to go, however you need to make incentives. So what you wanna do, say if um, you have your map out, right? So you, every single place that you wanna go to, say that you always hit up big lots, you hit up Target, you hit up Walmart, you hit up the local discount store, every single place you wanna map it out, and then you want to get that automated to people. So you're gonna to have to hire people to go on routes for you. You're gonna to have to hire people who do your shipping for you. You're gonna to have to hire people who list the items for you. And you have to make a very clear, a really detailed blueprint to automate it for them, right? So you have to make it very simple that they can go do what you just did in step one. So, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna to have to go hire them. So you're gonna to have to figure out the money situation yourself. However, you would hopefully have items that are pretty good profit margins that it's gonna cut into that. However, when you get to this automation step, you're gonna be able to have such more volume that it's not gonna matter that your profits cut down. Even if your profits cut down by half, half as much, right? You're gonna hire probably five times as much people to do five times as much work for you. So say if you were able to get 100 sales a month on whatever products in eBay, now you're gonna be able to find five times as much, but for, say if you jump down to half the profit, you're still two, your business is still two and a half times bigger while not working at all. Well, all you're doing is taking in checks, okay? So that's the automation process. And then the next process, the next step, which is the most important one, is the review process, the review and feedback, okay? And I'm gonna call it actually the feedback step. Feedback. Okay, so this is the most important process because you can have everything documented, you can fully start automating everything, but you need to make sure they're doing the right thing. The people you've hired, the people you've told to the list items, the people you have going routes for you, people who do all the shipping for you, you need to make sure that they are doing what you wrote out on the document, on the, the document step, step one, right? You need to make sure they're doing as good as you. Ideally, you want them to do it better than you, right? That's why you want to get down to just people focus on one job, because you can get people to just focus on one job, they're gonna grow, they're gonna become better. But you need to make sure in step three that they are getting better. So what you're gonna do, you could also automate this process too, is have a feedback or review or a weekly recap of what the person you hired did. So if you have somebody that goes out and does your daily routines on Sunday, who is your garage salesperson, who goes out to garage sales, scans all the items. And the big thing in the automation process, whenever you scan stuff, or however your product research is on eBay, you need to document everything. So if you go into eBay, right, I don't have my phone right now, but if you go into the sold listings to see how things are selling, whatever your process is to see if it's gonna be something you're gonna buy, make sure you write that down in the automation stage, right? So then you just gotta get feedback. You gotta make sure people are doing it right. Maybe you have business meetings, maybe you just follow them up, have people write out a weekly recap of what they did, and just make sure that they're doing the right thing, what you said in step one and repeat those steps, right? So if you can get to the point that you're currently in your city, you're in your county, I don't know how many people, maybe you have 10,000 people who live in your area, you have a bunch of retail stores, discount stores, and say from this process, you can get to a little over eight grand in a month time, right? So I don't know how many listings or how many items that's gonna be for it. Let's say you can get $8,000 in gross sales on eBay. So that's about $100,000 a year. Do you think once you've got this a clear cut, like very well oiled machine, to get this to a seven figure big business, what you're gonna have to do, go to the next city, go to the next county, find 10 counties, 10 cities, do the same process, post ads on Craigslist and everything and you're good to go. I wanna, I actually uh, forgot a step in the automation thing, um, but if you're looking for people to list your items for very cheap or to basically do anything that you can but online, like just listing items, I recommend to cut down or to increase your profits and to lower your amount of your spending on employees is you can go to a place called upwork.com or onlinejobs.ph. And if you go to upwork.com, uh, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a place where you can go post jobs for freelancers to outsourcers and everything like that. So you can get 
on people to you can hire people for less than two dollars an hour from the Philippines and two to three dollars an hour same with onlinejobs.ph you can go hire people from a couple dollars an hour to just do some listings to maybe message your customers on eBay to just make sure everything's good and just kind of anything that you can do online you could go to upwork.com or onlinejobs.ph to automate that as well so I hope you guys really like this video and I hope remember if you want to grow a seven-figure business do this and repeat the process and keep scaling because you're able to scale in this business you're not able to scale if you're the only one doing this just because you have a bunch of people going after it for you and you can just scale that way okay so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more information just like this and I hope you start implementing this process for your eBay business.